hello students i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that two boats leave the shore at the same time and travel in the directions shown if v a equals to 10 meter per second and v b equals to 15 meter per second determine the velocity of boat a with respect to boat b how long after leaving the shore will the boats be 600 meter apart so since it's a relative motion so we have to define our absolute coordinate system at an arbitrary point let's say this is my absolute coordinate system and boat a is moving with 10 meter per second in this direction which is making 30 degree with the vertical and the boat b is moving with 15 meter per second and it is making 15 degree with the horizontal and we are required to find the velocity of boat a with respect to b so now we know that v a is equal to v b plus v a of b so if we are considering them as a vector addition so this is v a vector is equal to v b vector plus v a b vector and by head to tail rule v, v b plus v a b must give us v a so now v a is acting uh, at 30 degrees right and vb is making 45 degrees with the horizontal so vb is 15 let's say this is my vb let's say this is my vb vector which is making 45 degrees with the horizontal let's say this is vb which is equal to 15 meter per second and it is making 45 degrees and similarly uh, VA which is making 30 degrees with the vertical this is VA this is our VA vector and it is making 30 degrees let me draw let me show that this angle is 30 so this is VA and its magnitude is 10 meter per second so now from this equation VB plus VAB this must give us VA by head to tail rule. So now from this we can say that VAB must be occurring from B to A. Since by head to tail rule we have to add VAB with VB. So this is VAB. This is VAB vector. So now from this we can say that if, if this angle is 45, if this angle is 45 and this angle is 30, and this is 90 then this angle is also 45 so so we can write that this angle is 45 and the included angle between vb and va vector this angle is 45 plus 30 so this angle is 75 let's angle is 75 so the included angle between va and vb is 75 so let me remove all these angles and now we know the total angle between va and vb which is 75 so in order to find the uh, VAB magnitude, we can apply the law of cosine since we know VA, VB and the included angle between them. So VAB square by applying cosine law, VAB square will be equal to VA square plus VB square. VA is 10 and VB is 15 minus 2 into VA into VB cause of the included angle between VA and VB which is 75 and we want to find VAB we have to take the square root so this will give this will give us VAB magnitude so VAB is this is 10 square plus 15 square minus 2 into 10 into 15 cause of the included angle which is 75 so this gives us VAB magnitude this VAB magnitude is equal to 15.728 meter per second and if you want to find the angle of VA with respect to the horizontal so remember that this these vectors are drawn free scale they are not up to scale right so we want to find the angle of VAB uh, with respect to uh, the horizontal right so if we want to find this angle let's say this angle let's say this angle is theta so for that we have to find this angle and let's say this angle is beta so now by applying cosine's law we can find beta since we know the magnitude of VAB we know the magnitude of VB and we know the magnitude of this VA 
So by applying cosine's law, we can say that V A square, which is 10 square, this will be equal to V A B magnitude square, which is 15.728 square, plus V B square, which is 15 square minus 2 into 15.728 into 15 and cos of the included angle which is beta so now we can find this beta we can rearrange this equation and we can write that 2 into 15.728 into 15 cos of beta if i bring this whole term to this side and 10 square to the other side so so this term will become positive on the other side and this will become minus so we can write this equation is 15.728 square plus 15 square minus 10 square and if you want to find cos beta we have to apply both sides by 2 into 15.728 into 15 so we will be left with cos of beta and cos of beta is 15 square 15.728 square plus 15 square minus 10 square divided by 2 into 15.728 into 15 so this gives us cos of beta equals to this and if we take cos inverse of this answer that will give us beta so cos inverse of this answer give us beta equal to 37.89 degrees so this is our beta angle now we need to find this angle theta so if if this whole angle is beta and if this is 45 then this angle is 45 since this angle and this angle they are alternate angles so now from this we can write that if 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 this angle is if this if this angle is 45 then 45 plus theta must be equal to beta so we can write that 45 plus theta this must be equal to beta which is 37.89 so theta which is the angle of VAB with the horizontal will be equal to 37.89 minus 45 so we can write that 37.89 minus 45 this gives us minus 7.11 degrees so this theta so now from this we can say that uh, theta is 7.11 degrees and it is measured in the clockwise direction so this is that theta angle and which is equal to 7.11 degrees now VAB has a magnitude of 15.728 meter per second and it is making 7.11 degrees with the horizontal in the clockwise direction now in the problem statement we are also asked to find how long after leaving the shore will the boats be 600 meter apart so now we know the relative velocity of a with respect to b so if we are considering the relative velocity of a with respect to b so if we consider that we b boat b is at rest relative to a then we can find that the the distance traveled by a with respect to b this will be equal to v a b into t this will be equal to the average velocity of boat a with respect to b times the time so from this we can write that t will be equal to s a b the distance the relative distance of a with respect to b divided by the velocity of a with respect to b and the distance is given since that is 600 meter apart so 600 600 divided by VAB magnitude which is 15.728 so this is 600 600 divided by 15.728 this gives us 38.15 seconds this is 38.15 seconds so the relative velocity of A with respect to B is this 15.728 meter per second and boat A will be boat A and boat B will be 600 meter apart from each other after a time of 38.15 seconds.